afternoon, I'm Paolo De Rosario. This is Newsfeed on the Billionario News Channel. The government is seeking a more than 6 trillion peso budget for 2025. The Budget Department has submitted next year's spending bill to the House of Representatives. Our reporter Hannah T joins us from Batasan for more. Hannah? Paolo, the Department of Budget and Management submitted to the House of Representatives the proposed 6.352 trillion pesos National Expenditure Program or NEP for 2025, marking a 10.1% increase from last year's 5.768 trillion peso budget. The Department of Education, which gets the lion's share by law, is set to receive 977.6 billion pesos, slightly up from 968.9 billion pesos in 2024. The Public Works and Highways, meanwhile, gets a budget slash at 900 billion pesos from 997.9 billion pesos last year. The health sector, including steel health, may also get a lower budget at 297.6 billion pesos, down from 308.4 billion pesos. The Department of the Interior and Local Government is allocated 278.4 billion pesos, an increase from 270.9 billion pesos while the Department of National Defense receives 256.1 billion pesos, up from 240.9 billion pesos. The social welfare also gets a budget cut down to 230.1 billion pesos from 248.1 billion pesos. Similarly, the combined budget for agriculture, including the Department of Agriculture and the Department of Agrarian Reform, drops to 211.8 billion from 221.8 billion, reflecting a 4.7% decrease. Transportation sees a significant increase with its budget more than doubling to 180.9. Paolo? Uh, what happens now after the submission by the DBM? Paula, the budget proposal will be reviewed by the House, followed by the Senate, where amendments may be made. Any differences will be reconciled in a bicameral conference committee before the final general appropriations bill is presented to the President for approval. Paula? Thank you so much. That was Hannah T. reporting from Batasan. Another fuel tanker sinks off Marivelas Bataan. The Philippine Coast Guard says that their team has already sealed all observed leaks from the MTKR Jason Bradley. During an assessment, Coast Guard personnel monitored sheens of diesel leaks in the vicinity waters of Barangay Cabcaben. According to Coast Guard Station Bataan Commander Michael John Encina, the sunken vessel has no cargo. The shipping company has already prepared equipment needed for the salvage operations that will be completed in one to two weeks. The Philippine Coast Guard temporarily suspended the spraying of dispersants on the oil spill from the sunken MT Terra Nova. The Coast Guard says this is to make the initiative more effective based on the technical advice of the International Tankers Owners Pollution Federation. The PCG ships and contracted vessels continue to use water cannons to agitate the oil sheens the, and accelerate weathering effect. This is the same strategy that they used during the Oriental Mindoro oil spill last year. The Coast Guard is also preparing the laying of oil spill booms and improvised oil spill booms in areas projected to be affected by the incident. The empty Terra Nova sunk at the height of Typhoon Karina last week, carrying 1.4 million liters of industrial fuel. Eight in ten Filipinos back the nationwide ban on Philippine offshore gaming operators or POGOs. A survey by the Okta Research Group shows 83% of respondents agreed that POGOs should be banned. Only 12% disagreed, while 5% were undecided. President Bongbong Marcos announced the ban on POGOs in his third State of the Nation address. He said POGOs have become a haven for criminals involved in money laundering, human trafficking, and even murder, among others. And those are the news this hour. I'm Paolo Del Rosario. Stay tuned to Billionaire News Channel for more top of the R news. Catch us on Free TV Channel 31 and also on our website, bnc.ph. Billionaire News Channel, always on top.